If you are an FLL team that uses Spike Prime for whatever reason, I mean, that's not a bad thing. I, I actually talked about this in a different video. And you use the blocks coding, which is great and all because it's a it's just like the Spike Prime coding and that's kind of what I cover, so that's probably why you're here. And you use a line following program. Something you most likely want to do to drastically improve the reliability of your line following is to calibrate your sensors. And if you've got two color sensors on the front of your robot, it can take a while to have two programs that calibrate them, and then during the match, you've got to click through more stuff. So the easiest way to do this is to have one that does both at once. And this is what this video is going to teach you how to do. What we're going to need is just a play block, but I guess that's already there, so that was easy. Then we're going to need to go to sound. And this is sort of, I guess, optional, but it makes the use of it a lot easier. And so we are going to need start. And that's just to show that the program has started. And now we're going to need to go to control and pull out a wait two seconds block. This is just to give it a little buffer because otherwise it'll go way too fast. Then display. And we're going to need to write, um, we're going to write white. And so th we, this is how we know that it's going to be calibrating the color white. Press up. up. This stuff is all just to make it more user-friendly. After this, we're going to be calibrating it for white. And this is this part is pretty easy. So we're going to, add, well, first we're going to need a wait until block right there. Then to sensors. And we'll need to grab wait until the up button is pressed. And once the up button is pressed, it's going to start calibr it's going to calibrate the white value for both of the sensors. Um, oh, well, actually, first I forgot this. We're going to need to put a reset reflected light intensity calibration there because we do. Then calibrated reflected light intensity maximum to uh, reflected light intensity. We're going to need two of these. We're going to need to set this one to one and the other one to three. Those are the values that I have on my EV3 because typically I have one color sensor in one, the other color sensor in three. In port two, I've got the gyro. And if I have an ultrasonic, that's in port four. Now we're going to need to go to operators. And we're going to need a plus block and a divided by block. So we're going to put the reflected light intensities both in here. And then we're going to plug them both into the divided um, block of this. And in the second bubble of the divided block, we're going to put two. What this does is it calibrates both sensors to the averages of both sensors. This is, the, this is by far the easiest way to do it because doing the average of both usually works just as well unless you have your robot sensors not correctly positioned on a line. And in that case, you're going to have to recalibrate anyway. So after that, we are going to need to grab a weight block. And this can just be set to one second, as long as it's some delay, so it's not instantaneous from going from one to the other. We're going to need to, well, actually, at this point, we could just um, duplicate this entire section of code. And we are going to have to change this to black press down and this again it's just user friendliness we're gonna have to change this to being so when down is pressed and all we have to do here is change it to minimum so that we're calibrating the lowest value that our robot could see light wise instead of the highest value and then at the very end we're gonna have to grab a stop and exit program block that's the entire program and it's, it's really simple hopefully it works for your team and here it is in action. Okay.